There aren't enough radiographers um, to man increasingly complex scanners. For the NHS, we are very, very short on allied health professionals. My real challenge is how to introduce education, training and support in incredibly busy environments. So by using the ROC, we've been able to essentially duplicate our control room. A super user can come in, uh, access the command center, and within a minute, they've got access to multiple scanners you know, uh, across multiple sites. That I've been able to use this system from both sides as both a trainer and a trainee. So I think it's a much more beneficial use of our more experienced staff's time, being able to spread them across the whole department rather than localized across just one scanner and just one examination. We've been using the ROC system um, in our department to help upskill our colleagues, particularly in terms of new and more complex scanning techniques. The quality is very similar in terms of training under ROC versus training side by side. And that is something quite crucial for us. We don't want the training to be different so that we have almost a two-tier system. What we're doing is making sure that we get you to the stage where you're an independent operator and you could flourish and unlock your potential. One of the great things about the ROC um, is that it's vendor neutral. So a challenge we often have with our radiographers is training them how to use all of the different vendor platforms. Platforms such as this then allow those experts to support colleagues in the sector, colleagues in the region, colleagues around the country. I think being able to have that support that is available pretty much immediately is also essential, particularly in an acute setting. We really wanted to develop the cardiac MR service. To begin with, um, only one scanner um, had the capacity to deliver um, those cardiac MR imaging. Uh, but because we've been able to use the ROC, train people quicker, train more people to deliver the service, how long it's taking us to require a non-complex cardiac MR has actually dropped uh, compared to before having the ROC. So having that expertise uh, available and concentrated in one place actually has a really good benefit to the patient. And we can actually now do cardiac MR on three of our four scans. The biggest benefit to the patient is firstly in preventing those delays to the workflow of the department and secondly for making sure that every patient is coming out with the highest quality scan possible. It's actually the quality and the standard is the same. What is different is the speed at which we could train at as well as the efficiency which we could train at. So we've roughly doubled the number of staff um, that we can train in the same period of time by using the rock. On average, we're saving about two minutes on a scan every time a ROC user contacts the expert. That's two minutes less spent inside the scanner. Um, and cumulatively, of course, over a day, if you're doing 10 patients, you're gonna save another appointment's worth of time. I think the most unexpected thing for me with this technology is how easy it was to use. So a lot of new technology will tell me, you need to do this, all right? Whereas the rock says to me, well, here's the equipment, these are the options, what would you like this equipment to do for you? Is it really makes our lives as radiographers easier because we have access to our colleagues and our expert colleagues, especially um, at the touch of a button.